Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Well, New Mexico isn't getting much national campaign attention in the presidential election. Colorado is. Today, Michelle Obama was in Durango trying to tip the balance for her husband and for another Democrat in a key congressional race. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at Fort Lewis College where the First Lady is about to speak. Kim, I'm inside Wayland Gymnasium where the crowd is still filing in and very anxious to see the First Lady speak. We're expecting that close to the top of the hour here. Here's a look at what things were looking like outside earlier today. Supporters already camping out when we got here this morning. We're expecting a crowd of a little more than 3,000 people. Well, even the Romney faithful made a small appearance as well. No shortage of excitement from the Durango community. I think it's pretty crazy considering we go to such a small school and it's it's awesome to have this experience to be able to see the first lady. I'm kind of up in the air still, but I think Michelle might be able to tip me maybe today. <laughs> Guess we'll see. We do not typically see this. You know, if we get a state senator down here or somebody like that, that's big news. But when we found out Michelle Obama was coming, that was really big news. The battle for Colorado's nine electoral votes is very tight. The latest Rasmussen poll has the president leading by 1%, while an American research group poll has Mitt Romney up by 4%. Also up for grabs in Colorado is the congressional seat held by Republican Scott Tipton. Polls show him in a dead heat with Democrat Sal Pace. It's unclear whether the first lady's appearance here today could tip the race in the Democrats' favor. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, in New Mexico, a new Rasmussen poll released today has President Obama up by 11 percent. But I'm sorry, 11 over Mitt Romney. We'll have more on the first lady's speech on News 13 at 5:30. The visit.